All right, everybody. It's Jason, 24CF here with the Event Hubs. I'm at PAX East with... Hector Sanchez, producer, NetherRealm Studios. I got the chance of playing Justice for the first time, and a good friend of mine, CD Jr., has been saying nothing but positive things about the game. And as a Street Fighter player, you know, I wanted to get into it because I'm a big DC fan and a Superman fan. So I got to play it a little bit. It's kind of difficult with the controllers at first, but, I mean, tell me, I was told some of the features that it makes it possible to switch it towards, like, a Street Fighter style. Yeah, yeah um, in, if you go into the controller select in the pause menu or in player select or, or wherever you have that option, you can actually turn on alternate control, which uh, makes the kind of the controls more uh, more kind of like a quarter circle base and stuff like that. One of the cool things about it is that you won't have to kind of go back to neutral to do your uh, to do your special moves. Now you can go from a crouch and roll directly into a fireball versus having to go to neutral and then doing like the down forward and stuff like that. So uh, I think uh, a lot of players from like other kinds of games that use quarter circle motions will will feel more at ease kind of doing those uh, those kind of motions. And now, there's a lot of great features that I also noticed in the game. Like, I remember when we saw the trailer at EVO, we saw the interaction of the stage and stuff like that. We were kind of concerned, like, what's that going to do with time? But, I mean, how, how did you guys go about, you know, adjusting that? You know, over the last, like, few months, we've been flying in a bunch of kind of, like, high-level tournament players to kind of come in and, uh, and, and play the game and, like, you know, just figure out what people were cheesing out, what people were spamming, uh, trying to adjust kind of the damage levels on stuff, trying to adjust the cooldowns, uh, trying to figure out what setups existed to, to use the kind of back background interactable so it's really fun you know uh, I know a lot of people you just kind of talk about background interactions and they think like hey we should just you know ban them for tournament use but you know I would really kind of implore people to give it a chance first and see because it definitely changes kind of the dynamics of a match it it changes your positioning kind of uh, mentality it changes your spacing uh, you know it really influences kind of like your setup because you want to put people in certain positions uh, you know it really affects the the match and that's the way the game has been designed about being using uh, about using the background so so, you know, at the end of the day, if you want to, you can turn them off. But I would really uh, implore people to kind of like, you know, play with them. And even the transitions as well, like being able to do, you know, like 15 to 20 percent unblockable damage, uh, you know, things like that. It's going to play into like real like high level fights, you know. So, again, I would just really implore people to give it a chance before they kind of like, you know, denounce it without ever even playing it. Now, one of the things that you mentioned with denouncing, a lot of Mortal Kombat players or Capcom Street Fighter players would say, oh, it's just another Mortal Kombat game. Right, right. What, what were the challenges that your team faced in not making it, say, another Mortal Kombat game? Yeah, you know, that was one of the first things that we wanted to do when we set out. We just didn't want it to be Mortal Kombat 9.5 with just, like, you know, DC skins on the characters. We wanted to build a fresh new experience from the ground up. So uh, you can see that right away in, in just some of the kind of like the small things in the game that make it feel different. You know, we don't have the round system anymore. It's just, you know, one health bar with two levels. Uh, we changed kind of the, the, the actual gameplay buttons. You know, we have light, medium, heart attacks, so getting away from the front and rear punch, front and rear kick from MK. You know, we got rid of the block button. You know, we, uh, we added a, a lot of stuff that didn't exist in MK. We have, like, true hit trades. You know, there's mix-up game. There's cross-ups. There's all kinds of, like, these, uh, these different kind of uh, gameplay uh, items that, that weren't in MK before, so it definitely feels like it, it, it's fresh and, and a new experience, and, and that's all we wanted to do. We just wanted to make a new game so that people would enjoy it and have a good time with it. Now, as a Superman fan, I would say to myself, how is it possible that Harley Quinn could be Superman, or let alone with another character that was recently introduced in Doomsday? How could... How do you explain Harley Quinn beating? You know what? Um, it's 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 super funny because like you know, there's other games obviously that are out there where that that have the same kind of issue. But this question has been like coming up over and over and over again. And you know, we take the time out in our story mode. Our story mode is is really expansive to kind of like tell the story of Injustice, to tell why Superman and Batman are fighting against each other, and how Catwoman can fight like Wonder Woman or Superman or that kind of things. You know, we we didn't want to just put a bunch of like random characters on screen and just you know balance them that way and tell people all oh, just deal with it it's a video game you know we actually wanted to give it like you know a plot and uh, like have a storyline so that it's compelling and so that people understand so i think when people play story mode they're going to have a really good time with it because they'll be able to sample a lot of the characters they'll be able to see which character fits their play style and they'll actually get an understanding of how these characters kind of like fight against each other what makes the experience that much better right because that was one of the pros that i heard about with mortal kombat that it had a great story mode and this now explains it as well is that this game will have a story mode where like other fighters, it's just play, beat the main guy, and that that's it. It's over. You go into versus mode. So, I mean, that's a really great feature. I mean, and then I'm pretty sure you guys have a lot of things planned, but unfortunately you can't release. But, I mean, is there something you could possibly tease that 
yeah, some people know, don't know about? Uh, a lot of stuff that we've, we've uh, you know, there's still stuff to come, obviously. You know, there's a lot more details about uh, online that we haven't really covered yet. You know, we've just been kind of like scratching the surface about online. So I would tell people to, you know, stay tuned for that. You know, we'll have a lot of an explanation about kind of the improvements that we did on the net code. I know that that was another issue that people wanted more information about as well. But, uh, you know, if you know us and it's NetherRealm, we like to put a lot of single-player content as well. So we have a ton of game modes that are, uh, that are still uh, out there and we're going to kind of talk about them and delve into them more. Plus, we have a bunch of costumes for the characters that are coming out. You know, we have DLC characters that are coming out in the future. You know, uh, there's a lot of stuff that, that's out there for Injustice. So hopefully, you know, people support the game, and, and we look forward to seeing everybody online April 16th. Any chance of Dark Sea being one of those DLCs? Uh, no comment, man. I don't want to give it. But he is in the game. He's in the transition in Hall of Justice right now. So we do have his model available to us if, uh, if we needed anything. So there's a tease right there. So I appreciate it, man. Thank you for your time. It's been a pleasure, and we out.